Cowboys have their horses, surgeons have their scalpels, and DIYers and tradesmen like you have tool bags. Hi, this is Tim with Handyman Hertz, and today I'm gonna to make you a little more handy. Today, we're gonna to take a tour of my tool bag. This is my pride and joy. I've spent over three years perfecting this bag, adding and removing tools to make it the perfect bag for me. As you watch this, try to find a way that I can make this bag even better and leave it in the comments below. Let's begin the tour. Okay, let's start with the drill. I love this drill, 12 volt. It's light, super powerful, compact, and I love it. And we have a file, half round. We have a rat tail file. And we have a chisel. Two cat claw nail pullers. We've got my favorite stud finder. It's got two powerful magnets on the back. And it also has a level for shelves and such. We've got my favorite painter's five and one tool or more. And this has a little screwdriver. We have my Fluke non-contact voltage tester. We have some super glue, a little graphite lubricant for doors. We have just some all-purpose three-in-one oil. And this has a cool little spout. Zip ties come in handy. We've got all of our tapes. So you've got Teflon tape, electrical tape, painter's tape, and duct tape. Right here we have some pipe dope or thread sealant. Voltage tester, it'll tell you if it's 120, 240. Turning the bag around, we have my favorite light, which is a Bosch, a little battery powered. And this thing is extremely bright. And it's got a little clip on here. Um, and it's got a powerful magnet, you can put on a nail. You can just set it down. Um, and it's super bright. I'm a big light guy. I love the lumens. A lot of the times we're in a basement or attic where there's just not enough light. Here's another magnetic light, really powerful. It's kind of a cheap one off Amazon, and then it can double as a surround light. This is just a cheap little one I got years ago. You just clip it on, and it's got a magnetic tip. This is my favorite screwdriver. You could take it off and put it in your impact if you want. Um, it also has a lot of different bits in here, such as the ECX bit. These are really helpful for receptacles. I've got a little flat screwdriver. These are great for outlet covers and whatnot. And then just another 11 one screwdriver. Here we have more lumens. You got red, or you have your white. People give me a hard time because I have Milwaukee stuff, but I'm not super brand partial. I love DeWalt and I have their batteries, so I'll use it for everything, but I'm not brand partial. I'm efficiency, price, making money partial. So um, this is my favorite one. It's got your bits and you have all sorts of adapters and your nut drivers and, and I put a little countersink tool on here, an adapter. So this is the best that I've found all around. I had a few others, but they weren't as good. Here's some cheap scissors. It's amazing how often you just need a pair of scissors. Some cheap little Chinese made needle nose. These are my favorite wire strippers. Greenly, they just have everything I want in one. Got a little pipe wrench. This is just a cheap one, aluminum, and it just won't die on me, so I'm not gonna replace it. You can see I put a nail in here and uh, it just keeps going, so why replace it? Here we have our pencils, we have a little nut driver. I love these Milwaukee ink saws. I have a little 5 16th spade bit. I use this to get into drywall and put in my toggle bolts. This is the spring tool. I absolutely love this thing. You can use it to remove door hinges and you can use it as a nail set. This thing has so much power. I love it. Go pick you up one. Here, I just have some extra bits, a little pencil. I use these drill bits all the time. They're Bosch, and you can 
they have a little masonry tip, but you can do in wood and even light metal, cast iron or soft metal. Um, I just love them. I pull them out, I put them on my impact, and uh, go to town. Over here is more my pliers. I got my big crescent, 12 inch. I've got my 420s. I absolutely love these things. Um, I used these for four years doing fire sprinklers, and uh, I don't know, I just can't get rid of these. I love them. And I got the baby channel locks. Got a little six inch crescent. I've got the bigger brother eight inch crescent. Um, just have some, some Teflon tape handy. Got to have some sheet metal shears. For cutting, I've got a box cutter with extra blades. And I've got, I love this little tool. It ratchets and it's just high quality. Ulfa. Got a cheap little chisel. Binder clip actually comes in handy, more than you'd think. This is my favorite tape measure right here. It's got a pencil sharpener and it's got a little way to temporarily hold the tape in place. Also, it has a place to write your little measurements right here and you can just wipe them off. Uh, fast cap, go pick you up one. I love them and they're cheap. I've got my favorite paintbrush right here, a three inch purdy angled sash, clear cut elite. Um, I just love this guy for cutting in. And then here we have just a little brush. And of course you have to have your multimeter. And this is just a random compartment of screws, drywall anchors. You know how much I love these. You got your Wegu, Wego, um, wire nuts, nails, toothpicks for stripped out screws, and you name it. This is just a cheap little household hanging kit. It's got all sorts of wire and random stuff. It doesn't take up much weight or space, so I use it. Next, we have the world's biggest hammer. And this surprisingly does most things you need. Obviously, you need a big hammer when you need one, but it's great for tapping in and hammering stuff. So speaking of tapping, if you go ahead and tap that like button if you've seen a tool here you like that you didn't know you needed. Next, we have a speed square. If you wonder why everything's red, that's my tool color so I don't get mixed up with other people. Greenly level, it's got powerful magnets. Um, it's just lightweight. A little notepad, some sandpaper, just nice to have around. We have some gloves, they're lightweight. And that's the thing about tool bags in general, they get so heavy. So things that are lightweight and useful are what you need. The heavy things that you don't use, put them in the truck. And here I've got a little snack. Never know when the day gets late on you or if you have to miss lunch, to finish something. And in here I have my razor blades. And I love this guy here. It's lightweight, it holds extras in here, and it's just easy, hide. Underneath this tool bag is a really cool compartment. I've got some more wire nuts and miscellaneous stuff. It's always nice to have some wall plates. I spent a long time looking for this bag. I absolutely love it. I bought it over three years ago. It was $40. It's a Jackson Palmer and it was the perfect bag I was looking for. Right now it's temporarily unavailable, so I don't know if they're making it anymore, but there's a few other good bag options for you. This is my buddy's handyman bag. There are a lot of great options these days that are a little more pricey, but they have some really cool tools. Every brand has their own version of stackable tool bags and compartments. If you're just starting out, or if you're a weekend warrior DIYer and don't want to spend all that money, you can get a five gallon bucket and get this nice husky um, wrap around tools. It's heavy duty um, and it can hold a ton of tools and a five gallon bucket, you can put a lot of weight in it. You could also get some dividers in this for the bucket and do it that way. The important thing is that you just start building your tool collection. You don't need the fanciest stuff right away, but you want something to where if you're doing a project at the house, or if you're hiring out for something, you've got the tools, you know where to use them, you grab one bag, and you're ready to go. 
I haven't even shown you my favorite tool that I take everywhere to every project. But before I do, can you take four seconds, minimize this screen, and go hit the subscribe, like, and notification bell. I put a ton of work into these videos, and that would really help me out. Okay, my favorite tool that I use everywhere, at every project, I take everywhere I go, and use all the time, is definitely my Leatherman. It's pretty much an extension of my hand. This thing saved me a ton of money, and it's time running out to the truck to get my tool bag. Well, I hope by now you know that uh, tools are what separate us from the animals. So, humans started doing great things as soon as the caveman picked up a rock and used it as a hammer. Well, anyways, um, hope you picked up a few things. Go build your tool bag and leave the comments in the description below on how I can make my tool bag even better.